What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are here with the recent 124 scale SCX24 copy. Alright you guys, so I ended up picking this thing up for 80 bucks on Amazon and when I saw it and I started looking through some of the pictures, I figured I gotta check this thing out because there's a lot of stuff on here that makes it look like the SCX24. So we're gonna dig into it. We are going to see if the SCX24 gears will fit in it and what else we can use off of the SCX24 onto this guy. So let's open this guy up. All right, so in the packaging, you get your two batteries. You get a plastic cover. You get your charger. You get a controller. It's got phone steering. And of course, you get your rig and your user manual all right you guys so here it is and i'll tell you what this thing actually looks nice this is a hard plastic body which looks very very nicely done scale wise it looks very good you have a full size spare tire in the rear and i already found an issue with this guy right off of the bat, right out of unpackaging. And look at that, guys. Really? Really? So... It looks like on the passenger side, they didn't even bother to put okay never mind so yeah this thing is uh wah wah thing is no good guys this 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 dude i was trying to make a good video and to show how this could possibly be um an option that you guys could get inst instead of the scx24 but right off of the bat I i'm i'm just gonna say no I i'm just gonna say no i mean really Sp wheel just spinning everything else is locked up this thing's just spinning i i i, I I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't say that this is, I mean, right off of the bat, as, as soon as I take it out of the packaging, this is what I get. So no, it, it, it is not worth the $80 unless you want just the body. I mean, I can do that. But the other ones aren't moving. I can do that. And I literally just unbox it. So. The only good thing that I am getting out of this. Uh, the only good thing about this is the body. Which the body is held on by four clips that are underneath it. All right, so there are lights here on the front and the rear. And I am just totally, completely disappointed about this. And whew, just completely disappointed about it right now. 
I mean, I've gotten some cheap hobby grade RCs and this one takes a cake. So let's start off with the front. So the front bumper here actually reminds me of the RGT, kind of. This guy. So the front bumper kind of reminds me of this. Um, definitely doesn't remind me of the SCX24. So here is the SCX24. And I've done a couple things to that. Now, wheel-wise, they got the wheels pretty much looking the same as the axial wheels, which, good for them for doing that. Um, chassis. Chassis-wise, it looks not the same as the SCX24, as we all know. So it is their own thing that they end up doing chassis-wise, which, hey, for them it's working. Um, the tower is here. The tower here for the rear. Eh, it looks all right. Same thing on the front. It does have an axle-mounted servo. The receiver is probably just a god awful receiver here um basically this is a two-in-one receiver that comes with it how well is it going to modulate not sure but i'm already seeing things that realistically aren't working out for this guy <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of going to tell you guys that this thing isn't worth it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I fixed it. How the, what did I do? All right. So I think I just had to, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. So first and foremost, the one thing that they didn't do here for this guy is that they didn't add the screws on the rear axle that holds the bearings in. Quality and control. You guys messed up. You guys messed up. <laughs> anyway, tire wise. So the tires that come on this guy are not that great to be honest with you they kind of tried to replicate the tires and they're actually taller well of course these are off of my gladiator so i'm guessing the on the jeep tires are a wee bit bigger on the axial jeep from this guy so anyway so these tires they kind of try to make them look the same I don't know if you guys can tell right there but they try to make them look about the same but the compound on these tires are way too hard I mean these have better these are a lot better than those anyway so that's flaw number two so let me put these tires back on to here. The other thing that I want to check and see is what are you able to use off of the SCX24 onto this. So one of the things I really want to do with this thing is take it out and see how well it performs. The 2-in-1 ESC, that, the 2-in-1 receiver that's on here, I don't know how well that's going to perform, how well that's going to do. Um, 
I'll, I'll be quite honest, you guys. I'm not really expecting really much from this. I kind of lost interest in this as soon as I was able to pop this guy out. I mean, there's it's just a couple screws that go on here. I more than likely have screws that I'll be able to use to fix it so that it doesn't come off. So I'm gonna look for two screws, put on here, and I'll continue with this. All right, you guys, so I was able to find two screws to be able to mount this wheel back on. Now it's not gonna be coming off anymore. Um, I guess quality control didn't check that. <laughs> they, it's something that they overlooked. So easy fix, not a problem. As long as you have screws, I was actually able to get these screws off. I literally took them off of this wheel from the uh, power wagon, the FMS power wagon, and I put them on because I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to be using those wheels. So, but I was able to put them on. Anyway, so back to the rig. Body wise, this thing looks great. Again, it looks absolutely great. The electronics in it are going to be another story. Uh, if you do get one of these and you decide to switch out the electronics in it, um, you might have to get some light, a light kit maybe, or if you're good with electric, you might be able to use the lighting that's in here and integrate it into the new receiver that you're gonna put in here, if that's what you're gonna do. Um, I mean, other than that, it's, it feels kind of solid, but again, is this like a softer plastic that they used for the axles, uh, the drive shafts? I, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out. So turn on the controller. Controller is on, you get a beat, and you turn on the rig, and there it goes. She is on. Okay. And nothing's happening. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so that's kind of weird. You turn on the truck, then turn on the controller? That's, hmm. All right. So the one thing I can definitely say is that steering is not all that great. That's annoying. So the steering in this is really not all that great, guys. Seems like something's binding up in here. So we got turn signals in the front. Come in the rear. No. So your reverse lights or your brake lights, your brake lights brighten up. So there we go. So you can use, there's a button here that will turn on and off the lights. That's on off. Sweet. Hazard light comes on. Hazards. To turn it off, you have to press the power button, which is on the receiver here. You got to hold it. It'll turn off. Let's go take it out onto the course 
and see what this thing can do. Or how well it can do. Let's go.
right, you guys, so we are back in the office with this thing, and I can tell you what, it's not too bad. It could be better, but it's not too bad. Um, this thing is definitely a copy, somewhat of a copy, of the SCX24, and, um, uh, I can tell you one thing, the one good thing they did with this was the body. <laughs> the fact that it is a hard body, I think that's like the only nice thing they did with this. Now, everything else on here, the servo definitely needs work where it has to go. The receiver, the electronics in here, they definitely have to go. So if this is your first crawler, mini crawler, I would definitely say spend the extra and get the SCX24, you got the FCX24, even the TRX Varette. There's a lot of other rigs out there that are better than this. I mean, for 80 bucks, you can't, you get what you pay for. For 80 bucks, you get what you pay for. But for me, I don't think that I would be buying another one of these. I mean, you guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys want me to do it. Do you guys want me to see, do you guys want to see upgrades on this thing? Uh, see what it's capable of doing. What can it do? Um, what SCX24 parts will fit onto this? Like will the diff gears fit onto this uh, diff cover? No, the diff cover will not fit onto this. I actually took the diff cover off of my Gladiator, tried putting it on there, and in between, I did actually did it on the back, but in between where the cover and the pumpkin meet, there's just a tiny, tiny bit of a gap there. So no, those covers are not interchangeable. I tried putting the SCX24 cover on this and it's not, it won't fit onto this thing. Um, if, just if, gearing fits in there, I mean, there's other stuff that breaks on this, like the, uh, the diff covers do break, they might, depending on how hard you are on it. but. Could you use basically the body, get this chassis, and make it a full-blown crawler crawler with it? Probably. Uh, the links on here, they seem to be about the same as the SCX24. Um, actually, they seem a little stiffer. Nah. Nah. Again, it all depends on the type of plastic that is on here. I know I have seen videos of this thing and um, the drive shafts off of the F, I'm sorry, the drive shafts from the SCX24 do fit on here. I've seen a video on YouTube, I forget who it was, but they put a dry shaft in it to replace the front because the front was binding up very bad. So the SCX24 dry shaft fit on here. Now, internal gears, the worm gears that are in here, will they work off of an SCX24? I don't know. Do I even want to attempt it? I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comment section. Do you guys want to see me do anything with this with this guy? See what it is capable of? Could it be that the $80 that you 
get this for and some modifications on here if they even work from the SCX24 if they fit on here work on here how capable is this thing I don't know you guys let me know down in the comment section and I'll go from there and see what you guys want me to do with it so yeah that's where we're at and uh, that's where I'm at with this thing so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed watching the new crawl course happening and there is more coming up on that there's a lot more that I want to do to that it's just a whole bunch of ideas running through my head what I can do with that crawl course and sky's the limit with it <laughs> be honest with you sky's the limit with it so again let me know down in the comment section don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video you all have a good one keep our saying